Welcome again friends, welcome to another video lecture from Shomu's Biology and in this video tutorial I will be talking about the difference between aneuploidy and polyploidy. Both of these phenomena are the change of chromosome number in a cell. Okay? We call it as a chromosomal aberrations or abnormalities and there are two types of chromosomal abnormalities. One is when uh, the structural change in the chromosome and the second type is change in the number of the chromosome. Now, in this case of aneuploidy and polyploidy, we are talking about the change in the number of chromosome in the, in, the, in, in the cell, in the body. So, what happens, so let me, let me break them down into two parts, aneuploidy and polyploidy. Now, if we just focus on the names, it is going to give us some idea about the topics. Aneuploidy means something with deletion stuff while polyploidy means something with uh, poly means multiple uh, so increment in the multiple number something like this so let us talk about it aneuploidy is uh, the change in the chromosome number by one it could be addition or it could be deletion right so the change in the chromosome number by only one chromosome is deleted or added or a part of the chromosome is deleted or added Okay, that is known as aneuploidy. Remember, in all of our body, we have set of chromosome. If I talk about of our somatic cells, that are the somatic chromosomes, and all these autosomes are present in our human body, is 22 pairs. Now, pair means one pair, one we get from our father, another set we get from our mother. So that means a pair from a father and mother, two set. So in aneuploidy, the number change is not based on pairs. It is only based on either one uh, like a single chromosomal change. It could be addition or deletion or it could be a part of the chromosome change but not change in the pairing. Okay? So that is the idea of aneuploidy. So let us say uh, a normal body contains 2n number of chromosomes in our, uh, in our somatic cells. Now it can change like 2n plus 1, it could be 2n minus 1, okay? it could be 2n minus 2 something like that so m plus 1 means one extra chromosome is added we call it as a trisomy okay one such chromosomal abnormality is present in our body known as trisomy 21 where in the 21 number chromosome in our body is getting this one extra chromosome okay there is a chromosomal abnormality and disease and you know the change in the chromosome number provides a huge impact in the person look and they behave and all this stuff is changed. For example, Down syndrome, Turner syndrome, all these things are due to the change of the chromosome numbers there and they mostly are due to the aneuploidy situations. For example, here it could be like another thing where we have 2n number of chromosome and one chromosome is deleted somehow. It is known as monosomy. Okay? And once two chromosomes are deleted, we call it nullisomy. So, nullisomy, monosomy, trisomy, tetrasomy and stuff, there are different things out there. These fe features belong to aneuploidy and these features are more common in animals, it is more common in human. These are chromosomal syndromes, example of such is Turner syndrome, Down syndrome, okay? more common in animal compared to the plants. While polyploidy is a situation where we see the change in chromosome number in set, right? so the number of chromosome set will be changed. That means, just look at here, if I draw the chromosome, will, it will be much clearer for you. This is a chromosome set. So, this is 2n because 2 chromosomes always present in pairs. Now, we get an extra chromosome from outside that is the trisomy. Let us say this is an extra chromosome. So, we call it 2n plus 1. What happens in polyploidy? Let us say normally all individuals we are looking at here, they contains let us say here. This is a 2n number cell. 
let us say an organism only contains 3 chromosomes, so 3 set of the chromosome, 2 n pairs, this is a normal um, cell. Okay. Now, if they have a change, polyploidy means there will be a change in the number of chromosome in set. So, instead of 2 n, we can have something like this. one extra chromosome per set. So, see the difference between aneuploidy and polyploidy. In aneuploidy, one chromosome can add can be added, it can be deleted, but in polyploidy, whenever it is added or deleted, it will be in the set. So, earlier it was 2 n, now it becomes 3 n, it could become 4 n. 3n means triploidy, 4n becomes tetraploidy, tetraploidy, pentaploidy, hexaploidy, septaploidy, octaploidy. So, this will be the number of tetraploidy means 3 chromosomes per set, but earlier it should be present 2 chromosomes, that is the normal rule. Tetra means sorry, tetra means 4 chromosomes per set, tri means 3 chromosomes per set. Octa means 8 chromosomes per set. So, this is a change in the number of sets and this is more common in plants and not only any plants like this higher ordered plants, okay? the angiosperms that we look, the flowering plants, this is the very, very common phenomena and they, this is the situation we artificially also create these changes that will lead to the generation of multiple polyploid fruits and food, for example, wheat other fruits which will be bigger and multiple things and it, it have multiple effects like positive effects based on our uh, food value or, or uh, aesthetic value. That is why we use this polyploidy for the plants to grow them according to our wish nowadays and call it hybrid kind of organ, uh, organism there. And there are two types of polyploidy over there, autopolyploidy and allopolyploidy. Autopolyploidy means when this polyploidy is originated from this organism's body itself, but allopolyploidy means when the polyploid is originated due to hybridization between two different cells or two different organisms. Okay? That could also result. Auto means by a same cell it generates this polyploid situations. How it they generate? The process called non-disjunction. Non-disjunction means, you know, uh, in the meiosis cell division for the plants, for the angiosperms, during the process of first anaphase, they need to separate those set of the chromosomes in opposite poles. During that time, there are some damage in the, in the microtubulin structure, so that uh, some part of this DNA set is not separated, chromosome set is not separated to the opposite pole. So, one pole receives some extra set, other pole does not receive it. As a result that the pole receives an extra set will grow and there will be something extra, there will be either triploid or tetraploid and stuff. That is known as meiotic non-disjunction. Okay? Non-disjunction means the, the process of separation creates some problem over there. That produce autopolyploid plants which is very common, but a polyploid is very rare in human, though we can see some effect in the muscle, uh, some muscle cells on, in human, but very, very rare, while any aneuploid is kind of rare in plants. Allopolyploid means if you fuse it two different species of plants together, you will get something. Uh, again, let us say one is 2 n, other one is 1 and haploid, so fuse it 2 n with n you can get sometimes 3 n like that. So, that is the idea of auto and allo. I am not going to talk about those features in much details here, but this in a sense is the difference between aneuploidy and polyploidy. So, I hope you understand the difference now. So, if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with, with your friends through all social networking site and definitely subscribe to my channel to grow it much bigger. Thank you very much.